Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing how to draw Ronan the Accuser. Now the first thing we're going to do is get started with the front edge of the headwear. So we start in the middle of our page, we're going to start with a point. From this point I want to curve up and out towards the left. So curve up and then go straight out. Let's go back to the center and do the same thing on the right. Curving up and then out. Now I'm going to tuck the eyes in underneath. So on the left side I'm going to draw a half circle, leave a gap on the end, curve down, and then up on the inside. Let's move over to the right and do the same thing. Curve down, and then up. In the center of each eye I'm going to draw a small circle filled in black for the pupils. I'm going to line this up on the right side. Now from that center point, we're going to step down and draw the nose. Starting on the left, we're going to curve down and then up on the right. Now let's move down and draw the edge of the mouth. Starting on the left, we're going to curve up and back down on the right. Now we're going to draw the inside of the face detail. Starting from the corner of the mouth on the left, we're going to angle up and out. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to angle down and out towards the side. And then we're going to go back up and out. From here, we're going to draw two straight lines aiming towards the corners of the nose. We're going to leave a little gap on the inside. And we're going to go straight up with a short line. Now from here, we're going to curve in and up just underneath that point. And we'll go back down on the right side. Let's draw on the bottom of the head. Starting from this point, we're going to draw a large half circle. Starting out here, curve down underneath the mouth in the center and then bring that out and up on the right side. We're just going to extend this line a little bit further on the side. Now let's draw the outside of the face detail. From the side of the eye we're going to step out, curve down and then in. Do the same thing on the right side. And from here we're going to draw a short angle line going down and out. Now we're going to come down with an angle right about there, do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to work our way back down towards the chin. From here we draw a short line going in and then down in an angle, do the same thing on the right and then we'll cup up in an angle just underneath the mouth and then from here we're going to curve down and in towards the chin. Now we're going to go ahead and fill that inside detail in black. Now we're going to move up and draw on the top of the head. Starting from the left side, we're going to draw another half circle going over towards the right. So we'll start out here, curve up, and in towards the center, and round out the top of the head, and then bring that down on the right side. Let's add a trim on either side of the head. Directly above the left pupil, on top of this curve, go up, and then out. And we'll do the same thing on the right, curving up, and then out. Now before we draw on the rest of the head, let's draw on the body. We're going to draw two curves coming down towards the hip. So over on the left side, we're going to curve out and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's close off the bottom. Starting from the left, we'll curve down and then back up on the right. And we're going to step up and draw that same curve for the top of the belt. Now in the center, we're going to leave a gap and draw two straight lines on the left and then the right. Let's add the markings on the body. So underneath the chin, we're going to step down, start with a point. We're going to angle up and out underneath the head on the left, and then the right. Now from the left, we're going to angle down and out. Do the same thing on the right side. And then from here, we just want to draw that same length line coming down the side. Now let's go back out. 
We're gonna angle down and out, just on the side of the body, leaving a gap. We'll come straight down. Now we're gonna pull this up and in to right about there. Let's go to the top and pull this in. Just aiming toward that same point, we wanna leave a gap on the inside. Now from that bottom point, we're gonna follow that same angle line, coming down with a short line. Now angle back down over towards the left. Let's flatten off the bottom with a straight line going across. Then we'll go up with a short angle. Now we're gonna follow that same angle again, coming down towards the right hip. We'll go straight up. Now we're gonna connect these two points with a straight line. Now let's move over towards the left side, right here. We're gonna go up with an angle, come down towards the right, and we'll pull that back down towards the left underneath the belt. Now we're gonna to move to the side and draw on the shoulders. Just on the left side, we draw a short line going out. We'll line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now from here, we're gonna angle down and out towards the left and then the right, and we're gonna go back out another straight line. Now we're going to curve the shoulders up and in behind the head. So let's start on the left side. We're going to start by going up and then bending that in. Now at the top of the body, we're going to step down. We're going to draw a curve going out and then down towards the bottom of the shoulder. Now let's move down and draw in that center flap. From the belt buckle, we're going to step out a straight line coming down. On the right, we'll step out, straight down to the same height, close off the bottom with a straight line. Now let's add some detail to that flap. On the left side, we're gonna step in, draw a straight line coming down, and do the same thing on the right side. Now we're just gonna draw some horizontal lines. Go about halfway, draw one line going across. Now halfway between this area, split that in half, and we'll do the same thing with the bottom. Now we're going to split this down the center, starting underneath the belt buckle, come all the way down towards the bottom of the flap. Now let's draw on the side flaps. Start from the top on the left, we're going to curve out and then down towards the same height as that center flap. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's draw a short line going out towards the side. And then from here we're going to pull this up and in towards the hip on the left and then the right. Now we're going to tuck the legs in underneath the flaps, leave a gap in the center, move over towards the left, curve out and down towards the left heel, and out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. From the heel, we'll curve down and up towards the toe. Let's go back to the left side, we're going to curve the top of the foot. We're going to curve up, and we're going to pull this down aiming towards the heel, we're going to stop right about there. We'll do the same thing on the right side. And then we're gonna thicken up the sole. Taking this curve, we're gonna step up and just trace that. Now let's draw on the side of the leg. Starting from the corner of the flap, we're gonna step in, curve down and in towards the top of the foot. And then from the top of the foot, we're gonna step up and draw the edge of the boot. Starting from the side of the leg, curve down and then up. Let's move back up and draw on the arms. The arm on the left is just gonna be hanging down. So we start just about halfway down the side of the body. So right here, curve out and down towards the wrist. Now we're gonna curl around the thumb, draw a small half circle. At the end of the thumb, we'll draw a bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we'll curve down and up around the bracket. Step down, curve down and up the second finger. Now the third finger, we're gonna start on the side here. We're gonna curve this around pull this up towards the bottom corner of the shoulder. Let's draw on the cuff. Start from the wrist, we're gonna curve up and then down. Now we're gonna step up and draw that same curve. Now the arm on the right is gonna be holding the staff. So we start from the corner of the shoulder, we're gonna step in, draw a short line coming down, and then we'll go out with a straight line. Now let's draw on the thumb. From the wrist, we're gonna curve up, down. I'm just going to pull this up. Let's hook in the palm. Come down and then in. Now we're going to stack three fingers in behind the thumb. Starting on the side of the thumb, we draw a half oval, curving out and then in. 
Let's add two more fingers. Starting from the bottom, curve around, and pull this up underneath the thumb, and do that one more time. Now I'm gonna draw two lines for the staff in behind the fingers. So let's start at the top of the finger, we draw two lines coming up. Now we wanna extend these lines coming down towards the bottom. Let's start with the inside, underneath the finger, and come straight down towards the bottom. Go to the outside, come straight down, Close off the bottom with a straight line. Then we step up and draw another line going across. Now we're gonna move up and draw on the top of the staff. From the inside line, we're gonna step in, draw a straight line going across. Then from the inside, we're gonna go straight up towards the top. Now from here, I'm gonna go straight across towards the outside. We're gonna go further than the bottom line. Flatten off the end. Now we wanna connect these two points with a curve coming in and then down. Now we're gonna add a circle in the middle. Starting from the top, draw that circle. Now from the top, we're gonna draw a straight line going up towards the top, and the bottom will come straight down. Now we're gonna draw a straight line from the sides, going out towards the left, and then the right. Let's finish off this arm. Starting from the wrist, we're gonna curve around the palm, and then out in behind the staff. Now from here, we're gonna step back down the arm, and then up in behind the body. Let's move back up to the inside of the elbow. We're gonna curve in and then down. Now we're gonna move back up, draw the inside edge of the hood. Starting from the side of the head, draw a straight line coming down just up above the shoulder. Do the same thing on the right side, down towards the same height. Now from here, we're gonna curve this out and up. So on the left, we're gonna go out and up. On the right side, this is gonna go in behind the staff. And then from the inside corner of the hood, we're gonna curve this in and up towards the bottom of the head. Do the same thing on the right side. Let's fill those areas in black. Now back on the left side, we're gonna curve this in and up along the side of the head. In and then up. Now I just want to follow the same curve of the head coming around down towards the right side. So we need an even space gap all the way around towards the top. And then down on the right side to right about there. Now from here I just want to come straight down and curve this out in behind the staff. Out. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Ronan the Accuser. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your request in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.